Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Hello there, and welcome back to another video. Now for people who are new to this channel, for these fake shoe reviews, basically what we do is search various websites such as DHgate and etc. to try and find replicas of pretty expensive shoes, you know, a thousand dollars plus. So trying to get as close to the real deal as we can without spending a lot of money, because we are all on a budget here. So without further ado, let's get started. Shipping was two weeks from China to Australia, which is pretty good. Box got a bit mangled in post. Okay, we have a shoe box. Let's pull it out. And here we have the box which has all the text on it. And uh, these shoes are only valid, blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to be text, but it's just a print. Most of you guys obviously know what the box is gonna be, but I'll show you around the box just in case you can see any differences. Around there, Marzi Art Shoe 2.0. There's a big ding there from shipping. Unfortunately, can't do much about it. Marziad Shoe 2.0. Nike Big Swoosh, size 11, beige red, Tom Sachs, 2017 Marziad Shoe. And a picture on the bottom of a spacecraft and Tom Sachs. Is it Tom Sachs or Tom Sash? Not too sure. Uh, 11 of the 16th, 2016, Earth is there. I'm glad Earth is there. That's pretty much it. So let's see for 50 bucks what they look like and what we get with it. Oh, there's a sticker on the side, that's helpful. So we have a little insert that has, oh no, it's a poster or something. Tom Sachs. Oh, it's a little bag, okay. And that has these little drawing on it. Just actually feels like two pieces of paper stuck together, but regardless, it's still pretty cool. There's a print there, Tom Sachs on there. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Nike Craft up here with the swoosh. The shoes, we'll just put them to one side just for a second, just to have a look at the soles. I meant insoles. These are the cork sock liner with all the little writing and all that stuff on them. Um, you can see all that. Flipping them over. Doesn't seem to be anything else apart from this little print on here, but they're fairly good. Doesn't feel like real cork. It's just a print that's sort of textured to feel like cork. They look pretty cool anyways. And we get the little space camp, Tom Sachs, little clippy logo, thingamajiggy there with all the... Well, oh, okay. I'm sorry, but what? Theradol is there if you want to pause the video and have a read of that, but uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't think that's on the uh, real deal, but this here is a little sticker, I believe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of cardboard, that's all it is. Nothing else in the box, so that's all you're going to get. So here are the Nike Mars Yard shoes here, 50 bucks. They look okay, really not much else to say, <laughs> to be fairly honest. Uh, some creasing on the midsole just there. Other details around the shoe, see the netting on the toe box there, netting also on the other side, the Nike swoosh, which takes up most of the side of the shoe, which is all good. Red pull tab there, stitched on, oh, it doesn't look quite right there. If you guys see anything that I don't, please let me know. There's another thing I need to point out quickly as well, is that these are supposed to be size 11, but I don't think they are true to size. They're probably about a 10.5, maybe, because I just compared them to another pair of size 11s, but I'll see when I put them on and do an on-foot segment. Nike on the tongue there with another pull tab, all the lacing there, the bottom of the shoe, as you can see, different grippy parts and all that stuff. Reminds me sort of of a um, Air Max sole. Yeah, it's definitely got um, different materials here and there. Front of the shoe there, looking pretty nice. For 50 bucks, I reckon it's a good deal, but you guys might disagree with me on that one. Tom Sachs, Nike Mars Yard shoe, all that sort of stuff. Let's have a look at the insole, pull that out. It says it's not to scale, our solar system. That is not to scale, but you're all good. Size 11, the code is AA2261100. We'll have to check and see if that is correct in editing. I'm pretty sure it says clove hitch, or unless I just can't read. Otherwise, pretty thin. I mean, it's got a bit of cushioning to it. The cork ones actually feel a lot more high quality than this one does. Ah, oh, actually, they feel pretty much exactly the same as the uh, cork ones. But at least they got a bit of cushioning to it. And inside the shoe, uh, wow, that's um, a bit different. So we have the leather here coming down inside of the shoe, which is sort of stitched into the bottom of the shoe. And then the insole is supposed to go on top of it. Don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, but it seems like they've just sort of had too much of the material and just stitched it there. 
Very strange. And that's inside of there. It is a bit cushiony, so that should be all good. Yeah, not much really to say in there. Different materials and all that. And the other shoe actually has a insert in it to keep the shoes in shape. Don't know why there wasn't one on that one. Pretty much that is exactly the same. Some stitching just loose here and there. Uh, there was some just on there as well. Uh, otherwise, looking pretty much identical to the other shoe, more creasing there. While the sole is very cushiony, it could be really, really cheap. And you can see the Nike swoosh there. It wasn't on that one that I just missed. Uh, no, it's not. It's a bit strange. Let me chuck these on foot, and I'll see how they feel and look, and give you my final conclusion to this review, and call it a video. So here are the kicks on foot. First off, they aren't true to size as I mentioned earlier, more like a size 10.5 US, so just be aware of that. Another thing is that the sole isn't quite grippy and I am sliding around a little bit. I could just blame my kitchen floor, but that doesn't seem fair, does it? Don't get me wrong, the shoe is fairly comfortable and there's a decent amount of cushioning from the insole and from the ankle support. I could pretty much wear these all day. For 50 bucks, while they may not be perfect reps, I think they aren't too bad considering it comes with a box and some little accessories. Another thing I forgot to also mention here is the tongue, how it's all sort of flared and chopped off. That's the review done. I'm not a big fan of these shoes, just got them because um, some people requested them on YouTube before it got shut down and I'd ordered them and it took a while to get here. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video review. Thank you all for watching and uh, maybe we'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.